in the name of Jesus between now and December 31st Lord we receive answers outside inside across the nations of the earth we receive answers tonight by the Spirit of the Living God answers of wisdom answers of favor answers of restoration answers of speed answers of establishment answers of fruitfulness answers of breakthroughs answers of higher realms answers of superior dimensions answers of open doors answers of open gates answers of open heavens in the name of jesus christ koinonia hear me in the name of jesus for december may my god who is also your god do a speedy walk in your life do a speedy walk in your life a speedy walk in your career a speedy walk in this nation a speedy walk in your family in the name of jesus christ i pray over these hands that are lifted in the name of jesus you have lifted it up it will not go down you have lifted it up you will not go down everything that looks like shame and reproach in the name of jesus christ i tear it like a curtain from your life hallelujah hallelujah listen to me we are what we are like paul said because of the abundance of the grace that he has placed upon our lives and everything that he has placed is transferable to those who desperately and genuinely need it i pray for you all the time and i release many graces but let me just do one i will still keep crying this grace for visibility because it matters that the nations know you are there if you do not have the grace for visibility you can be gifted you will still remain in shame remain in reproach let me tell you when the grace for visibility locates you it does not matter where you are men will find you systems will find you governments will find you and exalt you i am a beneficiary of this grace i know what it can do therefore i pray for you my dear people from the depth of my spirit in the name of Jesus may this mantle for visibility that stops you from being closed that stops you from being mediocre and dejected once again and for some in higher proportions let it land upon your destiny now let it rest upon your destiny now upon your ministry now upon your career now upon your children upon your spouse in the name of jesus every point of contact you came with i see people lifting materials lifting passports for others lifting photos of loved ones i see people lifting medical bills or medical reports i see people lifting all kinds of things provided your faith has agreed that that material is a point of contact i stand and i call upon the god who has sent us who has anointed us and distinguished us by his grace in the name of jesus let every point of contact you have lifted whatever needs to happen to that point of contact to make you laugh i decree and declare may it happen this week may it happen not next week may it happen this week 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 in the name of jesus christ where they rejected you let this grace rest upon you go back again in the name of jesus christ hear me koinonia any man who fights you beginning from today on account of what you carry goes down immediately these are not empty words let me repeat it again that on account of what you carry that any man who fights you because of where God has placed you I'm calling upon the God of vengeance that in the name of Jesus Christ they go down immediately suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake saying 
touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm anybody who will not give you peace who has made up his mind that under their watch you must cry i call upon the god of jeshuron the one who rides upon the wings of the wind may he arise for you as a god of vengeance may he arise for you as a god of vengeance in the name of jesus christ my bible says now may the lord of peace himself give you peace always and by all means in the name of Jesus Christ I taught you that honor is the ability to not only be recognized but to be rewarded to match your true worth I want to speak that because some of you it's not like you are not being rewarded but you are not being rewarded to match your sacrifice intellectually spiritually and otherwise in the name of Jesus may my God by this mantle compensate you for every year of disfavor when Laban cheated Jacob and turned his wages once and again there was a compensation system for Jacob it was Jacob that gave birth to Joseph and one Joseph wiped his tears and brought him consolation forever became a prime minister in Egypt and reign preserve God's people till he died I'm praying for you where you have been trodden upon cheated manipulated whether career wise or otherwise I'm saying it again may the God of justice in this season not only vindicate you but compensate you you are the covenant keeping God you are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, Yahweh, covenant keeping God. Listen, as I speak over you, I want you to shake away that lie that the devil has told you you will never rise. I want you to shake away that demonic belief. Just because you came from the village, shake away that demonic belief. Apostle, I've lived a wayward life, I've lived a scattered life. Do not worry, in his presence there is room for restoration. But I want to pray for you. I want you to receive from the depth of your heart. I stretch my hands towards you. And I decree and declare, I call upon the God who helps men, the one who helps men to rise, the one who helps men to thrive. In the name of Jesus Christ, begin to command strange results from tonight. Begin to command strange results from tonight. Strange results from tonight. Extraordinary results from tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your passion for the things of God your passion for the things of the spirit fresh fire upon your altar fresh fire upon your altar fresh fire upon your altar now hear me I want you to receive this prayer I want to pray for you there are many of you I'm saying it prophetically between now and December you will stand here to dedicate your own home I say it by the God who sent me in the name of Jesus Christ and for some of you as it is now you may not even have work to do but you see God is ever willing to make his power manifest I say it again by his favor may God start sorting your personal needs anything that has entered your body and has vowed to cut short your life I command it must jump out of your body now it must jump out of your body now 
it must jump out of your systems out of your organs now in the name of Jesus hallelujah I'm going to speak over your finances if you don't need it you can receive it for someone else but I want to pray over your finances there is an advantage we have in addition to our value our wisdom relationships there is the grace of God that engenders favor you find that in 2nd Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8 I like how the Bible puts it it says and God is able to make all grace not some grace all grace are bound towards you that ye always having all sufficiency Sufficiency means the capacity to always rise to the occasion, never disappointing. In all things, it says, may abound to every good work. I decree and declare, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, for someone here, regardless the financial mountains that stand before you, I call upon my God who is also your God. Let things begin to change supernaturally. Open financial doors. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. It says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I decree and declare, whatever makes resources to go out of your hands, whether it's the careless use of them or a demonic manipulation, whatever be the case, I decree and declare, the grace to retain resources, receive it now. Are you ready for favor? I will pray this one today. I will pray it at the miracle service next week. I will continue to pray it till you become a living expression of the favor of God. Let me pray it for you. What is in favor? Huh. Favor has the ability to accelerate your life and your destiny. Favor has the supernatural ability to bring to end seasons of hardship seasons of all kinds of things most people have not understood the also passing excellency of carrying the genuine grace for favor and i have told you the proof of favor is not money money is the least thing you can be given as a result of favor the proof of favor is when god connects you to the hearts of men that you call on one man and a nation is ready to respond to you and even to attend to your needs i don't know who that person is but i'm stretching my hands towards you that grace i lay my hands on my own head and i pray by the privilege of the election of grace may that grace rest upon you may that grace rest upon you rest upon you rest upon you this grace called favor let it rest upon you let it rest upon you in the city in the country let it rest upon you in the name of jesus christ that you become a living evidence of what god can do with men in the name of jesus christ and by this impartation of favor I call forth whoever has been mandated by God to participate in your rising whether you know them or not I declare this week by the power that raised Christ from the dead may they show up in your life may they show up in your life in the name of Jesus Christ hear me whatever has refused to move forward you have moved it by your energy you have moved it intellectually you have outsourced men to move it but it has refused to move i stand by the 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 advantage of the prophetic i move you forward i move you forward make constructive progress in the name of jesus christ
King of my life, you are my all, and I live for you alone. King of my life, you have my all, and I lay my life for you. My heart is yours. My mind is yours. My will is yours. You're the king of my life. My heart is yours. My mind is yours. My will is yours. You're the king of my life. My heart is yours. My mind is yours. My will is yours. You're the king of my life. My heart is yours. My mind is yours. My will is yours. You're the king of my life. In the name that is above all names for every season that you have not utilized well seasons of opportunity your seven years that you may have wasted either as a result of ignorance as a result of mistakes I call upon the God of my covenant and in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God let there be restoration of seasons for you let there be restoration of seasons for you for many of you strategic relationships opportunities to have lifted you today i call on my god who is your god let there be restoration may god give you another opportunity in the name of jesus christ hear me some of you the lord is ministering to me please listen there are some of you, some of your parents are still alive. You have never sent anything to them. It's just to complain. You are a millionaire and mama is there, staying in a rented apartment, drinking water from the well. God is speaking to you. Whether you like it or not, one day they will not be there. Can you give them the memory of joy and glory before they go to be with the Lord? Can I tell you this? Use every opportunity you have now because it will not be there. The hymn writer says, Thus will we pass from the earth and its toiling. He says, Only remembered by what we have done. Thank God for cars, but cars will not go with you. Thank God for qualifications, but it will not go with you. Thank God for reputation. Apostle Joshua Selman, it does not go to the grave. And it does not go to heaven nor hell find the things that matter in this life and commit yourself invest in them and the sons of Issachar men who had an understanding of the times and they knew what Israel ought to do again I pray for you anybody who should be in your life in this season but lack of discernment took them out of your life I call upon the God of heaven May they return back to your destiny now. Every opportunity you lost, either due to ignorance or dishonor, I pray for you. May the God of all grace and all mercy, may he restore those seasons for you now. Hear me. 
for some of you you are at the threshing floor remember you are at a defining moment a few weeks ago i came with a prophetic word here that people were ending seasons and beginning another one can i tell you this the grace to maximize this season you are in now in the name of jesus christ receive the wisdom and the grace receive the wisdom and the grace receive the wisdom and the grace man of god there may be certain levels of the anointing you should have had by now but because of carelessness like the hair of samson i pray for you in the name of jesus you should have get, gotten into deeper levels of the prophetic deeper levels of revelation deeper levels of prayer deeper levels of fasting but you lost these things in the name of jesus i pray for you let there be restoration tonight hear me those in business some of you lost opportunities god gave you opportunities today you would have been feeding not only your family but everybody around you but you are still at a level where you are begging and time is going i pray for you in the name of jesus christ who is the son of the living god i pray for you by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus may the lord turn the hands of time for your sake hear me jacob had an opportunity for an encounter in genesis 28 he wasted it through lack of discernment he says surely the lord is in this place and i knew not by the time we get to genesis 32 jacob was prepared when that man came he held on to him he said i made this mistake and i paid the price for over 20 years there are mistakes when you make even though you are restored it will take time i pray for you any mistake that will eat up your years any mistake that will eat up the remaining part of your destiny may my god and your god take it out of your life some of you now is the time to seek the lord you keep laughing at people oh these spirit cocoa people you say now is the time to seek the lord because the time will come when you may not have the liberty to do what you are doing i pray for you whatever has destroyed your spiritual fire and your zeal for the things of god when you were on campus people were getting born again you laughed at them it cost you 10 years now god is giving you another chance don't wait until 20 years from now before you take jesus serious in the name of Jesus, let there be restoration of fire. Hear me. There are multi-millionaires today and billionaires. There were times where those people were friends to many of our loved ones. They were giving them free opportunities for mentorship. But they did not listen. And now it's costing them a lot. Some of the bankers, some of the top people today, respectfully speaking, some of them have classmates all around who would have easily taught them but they fail to maximize seasons may god restore those seasons for you in the name of jesus christ koinonia hear me i stand by the privilege of god's grace and i announce to you if there is any season that is about to open up in your life for shame and for destruction by the mercy of god we reverse it now Yeshua Hamashiach Komi na na kane Yeshua Hamashiach Komi na na kane Yeshua Hamashiach Komi na na kane Yeshua Hamashiach Komi na na Oh, 
Hallelujah. Please look up. Is it possible to truly walk in the experience of authority over unclean spirits? Yes. Do you have to be a man of God to access that privilege? In terms of ministry? No. In terms of knowing God? Yes. Can you have authority over sickness, disease, untimely death? Yes, sir. Is there a grace that can enhance that reality? Yes, sir. Can you walk in favor that elemental forces within your territory are compelled to bow and deliver its riches to you? Yes, sir. Is there a grace that controls that possibility? Yes, sir. Can men receive it? Yes. Can it be made manifest here and now? Yes, sir. I'm saying that because this is what you are about to receive. So open up your spirit as I pray for you. And then we wrap up the service. Father, you have placed this prophetic word in my heart for the body of Christ. That there is a need to come into a higher spiritual understanding. And then to access the requisite grace. I'm praying right now for a man of God here. I'm praying right now for a businessman here. I'm praying for a prophet, an apostle, an evangelist, a pastor following from some nation where your life has been barren of the experience of what the word says should be as a result of the finished work of Christ. I decree and declare authority over unclean spirits. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace right now. That from tonight in the name of Jesus, you will not have to bring them to Joshua Selman. That you will stand as a priest that you are and make declarations and this grace will speak for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, in the name of Jesus, I first pray for you. The sickness that will kill you, may it never come near your body. The sickness that will deteriorate your organs, may it never come near your destiny. And if there is anyone under the sound of my voice, who is having any planting in their body that is not by my God, I command it to jump out of your life. With these anointed hands, may you go back and lay them on the sick and watch mighty miracles happen by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number three, and finally for tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ, the grace that quickens your mind, then quickens your hand, then draws men to you to make for supplies in your life. In the name of Jesus, I place that grace on your head. I place that grace on your head. I speak to every financial bill that may be depressing you, that is not giving you peace, you are not able to sleep because there are needs that must be met. This week, I stand by the prophetic and the apostolic. May my God raise strange help for you. May my God raise strange help for you. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Anyone here who may have lost in business, you've lost money, you've lost clients, you've lost opportunity, in the name of Jesus, I place a grace on you. Go back and excel. For the sake of his name and for the sake of his kingdom, go back and excel. And there are many of you here, while you sleep in the night, the spirit of wisdom will come to you and open you up to strange strategies that makes for your rising. In the name of Jesus Christ. Koinonia, hear me. 
nobody under the sound of my voice will die before their time nobody under the sound of my voice will have to live their life begging for tea and prayer every family here that is going through any kind of limitation in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I am praying let my God arise and help you and finally any human agent who has been ordained by God to help you and support you as you rise they may have forgotten you they may have been ill advised against you but I'm praying this week may my God use them to bring his word to pass in your life in the name of Jesus Christ therefore my dear people walk in this consciousness don't just share the grace and leave. Walk in this consciousness that I am anointed. Walk in this consciousness that I am God's battle axe. Walk in this consciousness that many destinies depend on me. Walk in this consciousness that I have received something that I must put to work. And as you do that, you will see the God of wonder surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ.